So let's say I'm a teacher and I'm hosting a Google Meet meeting with my students. And let's say Jill here is a student in my classroom. This is the layout of the Google Meet. If I click in the center and my menu bar pops up, over on the left I have my joining information and I can copy that and paste it into a parent square message or whatever. I can mute my microphone. I can hang up on the call, leave the call, and then I can also turn off my camera. So as you can see, my camera is active. I can turn that off so they only see my profile picture. Over here, if I wanted my students to, if I had a student who was hard of hearing, I could turn on captions. So this is what it looks like with closed captions. Google is very efficient in converting audio into text and it's very realistic. And notice how you'll see my profile picture next to this. That's what you're going to see when a student responds. You'll see their profile picture or you'll see your response. And that's very powerful. I can turn off closed captions. If I want to share my screen in a presentation, I can click present now and I have a choice. I can share my entire screen or I can share just a tab of a window. But if I want to show video or animation or sound, I would do a Chrome tab. And it would look like this. Let's say my music is going to be happening on this slide. I can select that and share that slide. So I'm sharing my screen. I can go into present mode if I'm on slides and you'll be able to hear that music or that video within my slides and within this tab. And also notice this blue little icon to uh, show me that I'm sharing to that tab. Now back in my Google Meet tab, I can stop sharing and I can decide if I want to present with audio. So I'm going to stop sharing. And if you look next to present now, I can also go to more options. And here I can record my meeting. And if I click record, it gives me a notice recording a meeting without the consent of all participants may be illegal. And then in the top left corner, you will see this recording button. And now I am recording, but I'm only recording this screen. If I click on the three dots, I can stop my recording, and then that recording will be saved in my Google Drive to access and share anytime I'd like. If you go back to the three dots for more option, I can change the layout. Right now I'm in auto, but I can do sidebar, or I can change the layout to spotlight, and I can choose who I'm going to spotlight, I can also change it to tile view where I see everyone who's in uh, who's in here. I can also change it to full screen so it takes up my entire screen and removes my tabs. I can exit full screen and I can also use a phone for audio which is good to know. If I go to settings I can switch microphones or check microphone and speaker information as well as video and what I want to send the resolution as. I'm going to go, if you have poor um, connection, stick with a low resolution so everyone can see and hear still. It won't be a high quality but um, better than dropping calls. Up here I can look at all of my participants so notice that I have myself, I'm talking, and then the student below. If I click on this pull down menu next to the student, I can pin her so that she's front and center on my screen. If she wasn't muted, I could mute her. If she was misbehaving, I could remove her from the Google Meet. Next to people is the chat. This is a feature that students can use to communicate and collaborate together as a back channel during the meeting. Also notice that this is the Google Meet code that they could enter. And then I'm going to X out. And that is an overview of Google Meet. Thanks for watching.